which which all universities did you did you apply? Oh, uh, San Francisco Bay University. San Francisco Bay University, right? Yes. Other than that, which university did you apply? Uh, Delta State University. Which university? Delta State University. Okay. And other than the, these two, any other universities? Just these two. Okay. And you got I-20 from which university? Uh, I got I-20 from uh, San Francisco Bay University. Okay, and uh, when was your visa date? Come again. When was your visa appointment date? Because I, I went for visa appointment, I was on the 14th, according to the message I sent to you. I was being denied uh, on the 14th, so I'm planning to, to reapply again, uh, which is, the, I'm a little confused. I don't know what to do. Is it that to apply or to study? Semester uh, till uh, of fall, which is start by August. So, um, so I really need to discuss that with you as well, so to know what the next step to do. When when was your uh, when was your visa first visa appointment date? Uh, fourteenth of of uh, April of this month. Okay. So what happened? What uh, what question the visa officer asked you? Uh, the first question, which one am I going to? The second question. Uh, Sorry, which? What was the first question? Uh, the, the first question is, uh, uh, where, where am I going to? Where am I here? Where am I going to? Where? Where am I going to? I could not get you. Where I, am I? The, the first question is, where am I going to? Why where am, I, am I going to? OK, fine. So what did you say? So I told them I'm, <clears throat> I'm going to the USA to, to pursue my master program. In uh, in business administration, we concentrate in uh, uh, management and operation. Okay, so what was your second question? So the, the second question was uh, uh what? Hold on. The, the second question was uh, what makes me choose this school? Okay. So I told them uh, uh I choose this school because because. Hello, are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Yeah, I choose the school because uh, uh, due to my research, uh, a lot of students, a lot of graduate students, you know, give a very good positive about the school and uh, the lecturers are very, they are very professional. They help, they help students in so many ways to accomplish their dream, you know, in different departments. So that's the reason why I choose the school. Okay. What other the question third, the visa officer asked? Then the third question was, uh, uh, what other question they asked? The third question was, uh, how am I going to sponsor myself? I told them I, I, I was awarded a hundred percent, hundred percent tuition fee of my hundred percent tuition fee, and uh, I mean scholarship, hundred percent tuition scholarship, for hundred percent tuition scholarship, and I have my personal saving. You know, to cater for my expenses. Then the then the mango I had was like, how long have I been here in Massachusetts? I just been here for like uh, uh for like going to eight years now. That's what I told him. I've been here for like going to eight years now. Then he asked me, so since eight years, what have I been doing? I told him, uh, been since my eight years here, I did my diploma, which I graduated uh, 2017. I did my degree, which I graduated 2021, and now it's my uh, master, which I'm which I'm doing here. And I have my personal business as well, which I which I did here, and over and over in Nigeria. So then the the fourth question he asked me like, "Am I married?" I said, "No, for now I'm not married." Then he asked me, "Uh, is my family in Nigeria?" I said, "Yes, they're in Nigeria." Are they back home? I said, "Yes, they they are back home." So you asked about your family, and where did what did you say? I told him my family are back home. In my okay. own country. Okay. Say, okay. Then, then what happened? Then after that, uh, not talk to like uh, five seconds and say, okay, so sorry, uh, I'm not like able to to get to to get it beside. They gave me uh, a form two one four. 
Okay. Okay. So, what do you think? What happened? So, uh, in the interview session, so what I just noticed is that uh, maybe <coughs> maybe some of the answers I give is not uh, is not uh, maybe it's not convincing enough for him. And uh, uh, what other things I can say? Um, maybe because I'm I'm the one sponsoring myself as well. That's one of those things. How much funds you have in your bank account? Uh, according to my statement, it's a uh, seven thousand dollars. Seven thousand dollars. Five seven. Five seven. Pardon? Five seven thousand dollars. Fifty seven thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. So, uh, fine. Now, basically, you know, uh, understand, Michael. Uh, you should get your visa in a second time okay so i guess what you are basically probably you need to uh, I, I, if the visa officer is able to understand you well if you are able to explain your case then you should be able to get your visa now the visa officer is going to ask you what additional documents have you got this time so how are you going to answer that uh... So, like, what has changed in my my present uh, document, right? Yeah, what additional documents I bought this time? So, how are you going to answer that? In that one, I need to prepare it anyway. Uh, also, for now, I'm just contemplating what could be the problem. Is it for my uh, finance problem, or because uh, so I don't really, I can't really get you know, the atmosphere. Like what what could really be the problem? Okay. So go, going back there second time now, I just need to schedule myself. And... No, but what additional documents are you going to carry to the visa this time? I do you have any other documents? Do you have investments? Come again. Do you have any investments? Yes, I have a, a investment in my own country. Okay. So how much investments you have? In that, if I could check, like, uh, let's say close to like, uh, let's say fifty thousand dollars investment. Okay. So you tell them I'm carrying additional investment of fifty thousand dollars this time. Okay. What are you going to tell them? You tell them I'm carrying an additional investment of fifty thousand dollars this time, which I was not carrying last time. Oh, okay. Okay. The visa officer will tell you why you did not carry this document last time. The officer will ask you this question. Okay. So you tell them, I got a hundred percent scholarship. Okay? okay. So, and what was your, what is your basically amount for accommodation living? How much is required? Accommodation living in Malaysia or? Uh, no, no, in US. Uh, I think in a month, let's say a thousand dollars. How much does in your I-20 show? How oh, much my I-20. Hold on, if I may check my I think so just hold on a moment. Can you can you give me a second? Yeah, sure. Living expenses uh is twenty three seven. How much it shows? Twenty three thousand. It's three thousand seven. Three thousand seven fifty. Two three seven five zero dollars. Two three seven five. You know there are two columns. One is left hand side. One is right hand side. Yes. Right on your I-20 first page, there are two columns, left-hand side and right-hand side. Yes. Okay. So the, on the left-hand side, what amount it shows? Total amount shows $39,800. 39, $39,800. And on the right-hand side, it shows that you have got a full tuition fee scholarship, right? Yes. How much because is that amount? According to the scholarship, uh, uh, it stated in my like a uh, student funding for twelve months. Uh, uh, personal fund is uh, fifty nine seven three two. Oh, how much is, they have mentioned tuition scholarship on the right hand side? How what is the amount? Okay, uh, twelve thousand, twelve thousand two hundred dollars. Twelve thousand. Twelve two hundred dollars. Twelve thousand two hundred dollars. Twelve thousand two hundred. 
teacher scholarship. Twelve thousand two hundred tuition scholarship. So you need to show twenty-seven thousand six hundred US dollars. Okay. Because you have you have got a tuition scholarship of twelve thousand dollars, twelve thousand two hundred dollars. Yes. Right. So what is yes. the duration of your program? Is it two years? Two years program. Uh, four tri four trimester. Four four. Okay, so it's a two years program, right? So your cost comes to around fifty-five thousand dollars. Okay. So you say yeah. basically that your bank balance is how much? Fifty thousand. How much it is? Uh, uh fifty-nine thousand seven three two dollars. Okay. You tell the visa officer I've got a full tuition fee scholarship, yeah. plus I have fifty-nine thousand US dollars, which is sufficient enough to take care of my accommodation and living expenses. Okay. Okay. So. When the visa officer will ask you why did you not carry this document last time, you say basically I was carrying a bank statement of uh, fifty-nine thousand US dollars, which was more than sufficient to cover up my two years of accommodation and living expenses. Okay. Okay. Clear. Yeah, clear. Okay. So then basically the visa officer will ask you questions like why US. Okay. When the visa officer is asking you question, try to be very clear in what you are going to say. Don't give general answers. Okay, for example, you don't say basically I'm going to USA to study MBA at so and so university. Say that basically I have basically uh, studying in so and so, uh, I have got international exposure studying in Malaysia, doing my bachelor, and I now want to do go to USA to take one more international exposure. You know, I have done a good correspondence. Do some correspondence with the professors. Tell them I've done good correspondence with the professors. I've done check with the students. I have checked the course content, and based on various parameters, I have decided that I want to study my MBA program in US. Okay. Okay. Give them a good reason because they know that you are going for a student visa. They know that you are going to study at MBA program. It's all mentioned in your DS one sixty. So give them some more reasons to convince. That you are going to for US for so and so reasons. Okay. They'll ask you why MBA. So you you have to tell them why MBA. Probably if you have work experience and you are, you want to basically now go to get a MBA degree, which can help you to uh, further help you in your career to work at a management level. Okay. Okay, but be be very specific in your answer. Okay. They will ask you basically why this particular university. So you have to go to the university and give specific. Don't tell this university is so big; it is accredited, it is ranked. Give them specific answers. This university has so and so program, which is so unique. Or I have done good correspondence with Professor So and So. I, or whatever you want to say, give specific answers to convince to the university officer that you are a genuine student. You have done good research on selecting your university. Okay. Okay. Am I making any sense to you? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Okay. Any other questions you have? Uh, I I just want to uh chip in. Uh, what about because here I have a I have a daughter here, but uh, my my long time girlfriend we haven't married yet. Uh, which I plan to marry her very soon. And uh, the last time when I was the uh, when the when the counselor asked me, am I married? I said no. But I didn't explain to to him like uh, I have a daughter. I have uh, my dear friend, which I will marry. Because uh, why I didn't get married now? Is because I want to finish my story, and after that, I will come back and and settle with my family. So, do I need to do I need to tell him other story, or I can just? No, no. You me? basically just stick with your story. You are not married, so it's okay. You are not married. You told the truth. So stick with your story. Don't try to confuse the visa officer. Oh, okay. So 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 this time around, I should I should I should come up with the uh, the asset, the what asset, right? About fifty thousand. Yeah, you have right? to carry additional investments that you have, so that you tell the visa officer that I am carrying additional investment this time, and the visa officer will ask you why have you not carried this last time? Tell them basically the I have got full scholarship, and the total cost I plus had a bank balance of fifty nine thousand US dollars. 
which was more than sufficient to cover the two years of cost of education. Therefore, I have not carried additional investment last time. Uh, in this sense, I just want to, I just want to get this clarification. So does it mean like I have a land worth of that amount? Like, do I need to bring the like the what is it called? The certificate or something that shows that truly this belongs to me or to my dad or to my mom or something like? That? Sorry, I could not get you. What did you say? In this kind of investment, <clears throat> the investment yeah, as a, the, the equivalent of the investment is about fifty thousand dollars. So is it like, like is a land? Like I own a land. Yeah. Then, okay, so, land land is basically you know not considered as a liquid or semi liquid asset. So even okay. if your parents' funds again, you can take it. Okay, uh, but land is. Uh, not considered a liquid asset. So you can tell your land that I have a land back home. Which country you belong to? Oh, Nigeria. So you say I have a land in Nigeria. I have your. What about your family? Your you have your parents, brother, sister. Yes. yes. So you tell them I have my parents. I have all of them. I have a land, and I want to go back to Nigeria after my education because I would like to basically uh, for, use this degree for further growth in my career or whatever you want to do in your life. Tell them, give them a strong reason of why you want to go back to your home country. Then show them that you have purchased the land, you have a land, but additional investment would be basically any other investments that are, can be easily be encashed, like fixed deposits or any other thing that you have, shares, bonds, debentures, or mutual funds okay. or any other investments. Okay, okay. If you want, you can. Uh, if you want, you can carry an education bank loan as well. Okay, an education bank loan as well. If you want, you can say that I am carrying an education bank loan this time, which I was not carrying last time. Oh, okay, okay, okay. And uh, I want to, I want to ask if, if I'm in mean, the top country, which is not my country, and uh, uh, regarding the the visa, the visa I'm using here. I think uh, it's not up to six months. Does he have any effect if I go to if I go back to US embassy for interview? Like maybe they ask me the visa I'm currently using is not up to six months or one year. Like does it mean anything? Sorry, I could not get you. Okay, like this. Are you listening? Yeah, I'm listening. Current the current country which I am now, my current visa is not six months. So and I heard from someone like I, even though I got the, the visa, even though I got, I, I was approved, you know, for me to get my visa, but the, they will still call me like, I need to get one more, like I need to get up to six months in my current visa. So I don't know, do you have any idea of that? No, no, I am now right now talking about US visa. So if you want to ask me anything about US visa, I'll be helping you with that. I don't know much about the Korean visa. Oh, I think that is, that's all for now. That's all. I just need to do my. Research. I think uh, I think you should be able to get visas. Look in the visa office. Look at the visa officer's eye. Be confident. Okay. Smile. You know. Be prepared with your visa questions. Try to go. Try try to understand how you are going to answer. Be confident in telling the visa officer why you want to go to US. Why you want to do this program. Why you want to go to this particular university. Why you will come back to India. Oh, sorry. Why we will be, come back to your home country. All, all those things you get cleared in your mind and then basically you will be able to get your visa. Okay. okay. okay don't get too much confused and don't confuse the visa officer as well. Okay. Uh, another thing is this, because this is my admission, we, we close by 4th of May. It's uh, next month, 4th of May. So I'm thinking to defer this uh, uh, semester so that I can be fully prepared. Or... Okay. Because, uh, Yesterday I checked. I checked from the from the uh what is it called? If I if I want to book for interview, I think the date is on 29. And it should it should not be enough for me to prepare, even though I got it. So I'm thinking to, to defer then. Fine, you can defer your date if your documents are not ready. You need time to prepare your documents or prepare yourself. No problem. You can defer. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. Okay. So all the best. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Take care. Bye.